scholars, this is Miss C, and it is reading time. We will be practicing our fluency throughout this lesson. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking caps on. It's time to learn. We have two new learning targets for today. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can identify the correct homophone, there, there, or there, based on meaning and context. The second learning target says, I can read a text fluently, smoothly, with expression and meaning, rereading and self-correcting when necessary. Transition song. Can you tell the difference, the difference, the difference? Can you tell the difference when two words sound the same? Woodwork. Listen carefully while I read this sentence aloud. There are three words in this sentence that sound exactly the same, but are spelled differently. Listen carefully for those words. They're eating their lunch over there. Hmm, what words did you hear that sound the exact same? If you guess there, there, and there, you were correct. You may remember that words like this are called homophones. Homophones have the same sound, but different spellings. What does this there mean? There spelled T-H-E-R-E -E, means a place. It is a noun describing where something is, as in this sentence. I saw the dog over there by the fence. What does this there mean. Their spelled T H E I R means something that belongs to people. It shows possession, as in this sentence The family brought their dog on vacation. What does this there mean? They're spelled T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, means they are. Remember that we learned about contractions with R. A sentence with this spelling of there might be, they're going to the beach. Now we are going to try to figure out which there belongs in the blanks. Here we go. Blank going out to recess to play. The children took blank clothes upstairs to fold. Let's put the new TV over blank. Can you help me figure out which word belongs in each blank? Let's take a look at the first blank. The first blank seems to mean the word are in order for it to make sense. Which there fits best here? The contraction, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, there. Let's look at the next blank. The next blank seems to refer to clothes that belong to the children, which there makes the most sense here. T-H-E-I-R, there. Let's take a look at the last blank. It seems to be talking about a place or a location to put the new TV, which there belongs best in the last blank. T-H-E-R-E, -E, there. Nice work with those homophones. Song. 
Can you read this fluently, smoothly, with expression, please? Can you read it smoothly, with expression and with meaning? Fluency. Now, we will practice reading with fluency using our decodable reader, solid, liquid, or vapor. Read with me the best you can. We got this. Everybody on earth uses water every day. We're surrounded by it. People drink it, water plants with it. Some people even swim underwater for fun. But does everybody know that water can change its shape? Water has been on the earth forever. But water does not always look like the water you drink from a glass. This type of water is called a liquid. A liquid is wet, like the water a firefighter uses to put out a fire, or the water that crashes down a waterfall. Water can also be a solid. Solid water can be the ice cube you put in your drink in the summertime or it can be the snowflakes that softly fall on a winter afternoon, or the hard hailstones that come down during a hailstorm. Water can also be a vapor. You cannot see or touch water vapor. Heat from the sun turns water from the earth into vapor. The vapor goes up into the sky. When the vapor gets cold again, it turns into a rainfall. So, it changes back into a liquid. Okay, listen up everyone. You're going to take a little quiz. Listen to the examples in each of the next three pages. Say what kind of water you would see. Liquid, solid, or vapor. Example number one. A woman is making coffee with very hot water. There is steam rising from the coffee pot. Is this steam a liquid, a solid, or a vapor? Example number two. A football team has a game on a very hot day. They buy a big bag of ice cubes to put in their cooler to keep the drinks cold. Is this bag full of a liquid, a solid, or a vapor? Example number three. A girl has a garden with tall sunflowers. She takes a watering can out and waters the sunflowers. What would she use to water the plants? A liquid, solid, or vapor? Closing reflection. Which aspect of fluency do you want to work on? Would you like to improve on reading smoothly, with expression and meaning, or at just the right speed? Keep up the good work practicing your fluency. I am so proud of you and the growth that your reading has shown. Don't forget to read for at least 20 minutes per day. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next time.